Now we have running uh, the dashboard on our computer, but now uh, let's uh, run it on the, our smartphone so we can uh, watch the temperature, watch the state of the button kit on your phone. So for this uh, we will use uh, Blink. Uh, so if you go to the Blink IO and click on the Get Started, you can download uh, the Blink application on your phone. It will look uh, something like this. And create an account and that's it <laughs> now uh, let's go back to the node red so what would I like to do is uh, to send a notification to your phone uh, when you press the button so first thing uh, we need uh, somehow to link the phone to this uh, node red so the first thing is uh, that uh, you create a new project in the application you choose uh, the hardware, you can choose Big Clown or generic, uh, generic kit and create the new project. Uh, it tells you that uh, the token was sent to you, okay, and the project is, is uh, created. It's not running yet and you can see yeah, I have already received the token. So fine. Let's uh, let's move to the email. So now I have copied uh, the token to my to the clipboard, and you can use this blink notes. So here you can see notify. This is uh, and by double clicking on this note, you can see that uh, I have already some connection, but I will set the new connection. So here is where you paste uh, the token from uh, your email and here you, you write uh, just, uh, just this text like this and now you are ready to go. Your notification is ready but we need to uh, somehow to start the notification and this will be by pressing the button so i will go to the messages press the button so i can copy this topic to the clipboard and now back to the functions so let's put a input node here and paste the topic here as you can see, uh, every time I press the button, there is an incrementing number and this number is called the payload. And this number will be sent to your notification. So you can uh, connect it directly or if you like uh, to set uh, some uh, text, you can use the change node and set uh, the, the payload to some different text like this. So now uh, I will deploy this flow and I need to do few, two other things on the phone. So I will slide and I will put a notification. Oh, here it is, notification. And notification is put on my phone. And don't forget to press the play button. So I press this and let's try it. So I will press the button and I get the notification called alarm. Perfect. This works even if your phone is uh, turned off. Uh, of course, you have to change uh, the Android or your iOS settings so the application is not uh, turned off when the display is off. So now let's uh, put some temperature and orientation gauges to the Blink application. So again, let's uh, stop the flow, click and let's put and let's put gauge here <coughs> and let's put some value display. Okay, then I click on the gauge and you have to set the pin. So I will click on the pin. I will select that it's a virtual and virtual zero. And the virtual zero pin will be our temperature. 
and then I click on the display and I will choose virtual pin and virtual zero is uh, already used so I will choose virtual one and this will be our orientation so I will go back and press play and the gauge uh, is uh, without value because we didn't set any value so again go back to the node red and now we need to the right node so as I said the temperature is zero so by double clicking on the key on the pin I choose zero virtual pin and then I use the other one for the orientation and the virtual pin will be one sorry zero why is there no pin fixed zero okay so let's press deploy and see what happens deploy again don't forget to have uh, pressed play and when I hit the module yeah, notification works and now you have hit it the button module and I can see the actual temperature and now also orientation works and here is number three and when I change the orientation it gets to one so this is how you connect the, the big clown uh, with the blink nodes uh, directly in the node red so you can uh, control you can check the temperature on your phone and if you use uh, some actors like relays or led strips you can also use uh, buttons or rgb selectors in the brain in the blink and control the physical uh, things in your home thanks for watching